Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to set up the email notification if a job fails on SQL Server. And we'll be learning a couple of ways to do this. There are multiple ways to do it, but uh, these are two easy ways to do it to accomplish this similar task. Number one is using SQL Server agent notification. The agent will go ahead and notify you that certain job has failed if you have configured that particular job for notification. And number two, using SP underscore send DB mail uh, as a step of that particular job. If job fails, go ahead and send, uh, uh, execute this store procedure for me. So let's go ahead and um, do that. This is my SQL Server right here. TBS client is my uh, server name and SQL mirror is my SQL server instance name in order to go and find the jobs you need to expand SQL server agent and click on job as soon as you click on jobs you will see all the jobs that's uh, running not running whatever the status may be so right here is my job couple things that I would like to mention right here that uh, before you can use the SQL server agent notification there's first thing you need to do is set up your database mail because SQL Server will use database mail up here to notify you so if you don't know how to set up database mail please watch my video I have uh, shown step by step how to configure enable uh, and set up database mail so I already have this uh, uh, mail set up right here database mail set up and I already have created the profile so we're gonna use that and the second thing, uh, if you want agent to notify you, you need to enable agent right here. By default, if you go to the properties, I do have it uh, enabled right here. But by default, usually it's not enabled. Uh, up here it says enable mail profile. So you need to select a profile on your system. What profile you want this agent to use to notify you. So... Um, Again, the profile goes back to the management and DB mail setup. So if you don't know all that, please watch my video. I would recommend you and you'll learn all that step by step. So uh, click on mail session, uh, enable mail profile. And I have a couple profiles set up on this, uh, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> on this server. So I'm going to use Tech Brothers right here. So once this is enabled, I'm going to click OK. Then our agent is ready to notify us. So next target is that uh, let's go ahead and um, you can create an alert up here uh, on specific jobs. You can create an operator. Up here you need to create an operator. Operator uh, simply means that the email address that uh, the recipients that what you would like to do if you right click on that I have created already the operator if you don't know uh, how to create an op operator I do have a video about that as well so as you can see that I my name of the operator right here is DBA and my email address of the uh, of this operator is tech brothers sequel age uh, gmail.com I'm using Google SMTP server for my uh, DB mail setup so that's why it's there the uh, operator needs to be enabled and you need you can um, select right here in operator what time that operator should get that email so uh, this needs to be these two things uh, or three things um, I should say needs to be set up before we could use um, uh, SQL Server agent to send to send us notification all right so once that's done we'll go ahead and uh, go in jobs and let's say that this is my critical job I'm gonna go ahead and rename this job critical fraud job so this is my uh, critical production job whenever this job fails I would like to get a notification that this job has failed so let's go ahead and right click and go to the properties and if you wanted to get a notification then you need to click on notifications right here uh, under the job properties and as soon as you click on notification you get these options that how would you like to be notified email pager net send or would you like to go ahead and put an application event log and you can read the event log later on or would you like to go ahead and automatically delete the job so in this demo we're going to go ahead and send a notification via email so we're gonna go ahead and click on email and up here we need to uh, click on operator what operator would we would like to use so we're gonna go ahead and use DB DBA operator 
if when uh, up here you have option if the job succeeds job fails or job completes so we're gonna go ahead and click on when job fails and click OK so now let's go in the properties um, and see what this job does as you can see it's all it's doing is grabbing the database information so we intentionally will go and put underscore database that means that this this uh, script is basically is invalid and this job will fail as you can see so we're going to go ahead and click OK and click OK let me show you the operator real quick where it's going to be up here this is the email address I'll be checking to get the notification so we're gonna go ahead and run the job alright as you can see the job failed and we're gonna go ahead and close and let's check our email this is my email as you can see right here I got an email job failed SQL Server right here Tech Brother it came from Tech Brothers and critical prod job right here so we got a notification now we do have an option in the message window to get all the history as well if you would like to look at the history why this job failed so uh, we can uh, basically keep the uh, send the history in that job um, and uh, let's go ahead and go back to our server right here is what we just did this is the step go to the advance and here is the history you can also go ahead and include in output uh, the steps that failed in output history right here you can attach right here DB name dot txt when you send an email um, and um, you will get all the notification and the reasoning of failure so this is how we use SQL Server agent to notify us when a, a job fails so let's go ahead and uh, uh, do the same thing using uh, SP underscore send underscore database mail so what we need to do is we're gonna go ahead and go to back to the properties of this job and notification we're not gonna use this anymore so let's go ahead and click OK and we're gonna go back to the properties and we're gonna go ahead and add another uh, step and let me show you real quick the So we're going to go and get our script, the DB send mail script. This script will be available on our um, blog. So this is our script right here. I'm going to go back to the job. Um, let me show you real quick this script right here so a profile I'm using exactly what I did using graphic user interface I selected my profile and I selected my recipient right here this is my recipient and this is the body It's gonna say email from TBS client server I wanted to use a different body uh, uh, for this uh, 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 SP underscore send DB mail store procedure so uh, the subject is going to be job has failed so this is the script we're going to use in our job so we're gonna go ahead and copy and go back to our jobs right click click on properties step and we're going to go ahead and add a new step notification we're gonna call it notification and this needs to run in MSDB you can use up here use MSDB you don't need to uh, select the MSDB here but uh, that's good right here so up here if if this is successful we would like to quit the job reporting failure on this too
or maybe quit the job reporting success because we do want that if the email was uh, the email step was sent so let's go ahead and click OK <clears throat> on our first step let's go ahead and click on edit go to advance so right here on action it says if this job is successful we, we don't care if it's successful we're happy we don't want notification but if what if this job fails we're what we would do so we're gonna go ahead and click on quit the job up here go to the next step or you can you have an option go to the step two if you have multiple steps like hundred um, um, ten steps I'm sorry then you can choose particular step which is step two to send notification on multiple steps in your uh, uh, SQL Server job so what we would like to do is go ahead and send us an email so we're gonna go ahead and click OK on failure so this is the step if this step fails it's gonna go on step two which is our step two is our notification so let's go ahead and click OK and let's go ahead and run this job which we know that it's gonna fail so let's go ahead and run step one all right so let's go back in a history and as you can see right here the step two was successful but step one was it didn't run because we know that it it failed so let's go ahead go back to our email right here and we got another email which says job has failed right here as you can see email from TBS client server right here so let's go back and look at it one more time second step notification and that's exactly what we told go ahead and send any e send us an email and say job has failed and email body should say email from tech brothers client server so this is basically how you use uh, sp underscore send db mail and it's uh, sometimes it's really nice to use um, uh, this store procedure because you can create one step and you can use this step multiple times on each step output and you can define that right there so we learn uh, using sql server agent notification how to send a notification if job fails and we learn sp underscore send db mail store procedure way to do it and i hope this video helps